We're gonna do hinges for the hip abductors in the 90-90 base position. These are wicked hard, at least they are for me. So we're actually gonna train the back leg. Let's get in that 90-90 position. We got the top leg at an L, the back leg at an L. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to lift that entire leg. So I'm gonna have to start all the way on my elbow because I'm too weak. So we're gonna lift that leg, try to maintain position as we extend the leg out and flex and hinge it back. There's one. We can drop down for a little rest or we can stay into the rep, okay? So we're gonna lift as high as we can, maintain that height and hinge. Let's see, we do five. There's one. Flex hard, extend. There's two. Whoo-wee. There's three. Two more. Flex, extend. There's four. Really lighten up glute medius. And there's five. So we want to prevent the leg from moving forward. It's in line with the hip joint. And extending out, extend, good. And as you get stronger, the goal is to be in more of an upright position. I might be able to do a couple, but a lot harder as you can see. Okay, let's do the other side, just to review. 90-90 again. And lift, so I'm gonna have to start on my elbow. Lift that puppy, stay in line with the hip, extend, and flex. Let's do five, extend, Two, there's three, there's four. So my knee was drifting, so I got to correct. Knee in line with hip. Extend, try to keep it high. One more. And let's do one more for good measure. Awesome. Very hard exercise, very, very, very good for glute medius. Glute medius' main function is to maintain pelvic position. So if you have a weak glute med, odds are you have back issues.